Here we want. Decided to give the old scroll saw a go today. I'm starting with a number five R blade. That's quite a quite a big blade, really. Um, and I'll start on this one one piece here, and it'll be a good um, to get back into the scroll saw. Well, I haven't I haven't been on the scroll saw for a month or so, so it's nice to have a, a good practice on a larger piece. So when I start this one, I start the cut coming in across here, then I go round and then when I come to end it's a square, a corner, rather than coming in on a straight line. It doesn't matter really, but um, I've, I've found it nicer to finish on a square corner like that. So that's, you know, kind of does a nice finish on the corner. So there's all the bits. And um, I'm just going to get hold of my computer now to find out from the pictures how this goes together because I can't quite remember. Put a dab of hot glue on here and then held it in place. And I've gone around and that's the 12th petal holder. I've got 11 in there. I'm not sure how you get 12. And I'm sure you can. So what I did was, once I had these 11, I can't really, I've just put this pen in like that and kind of evened them up a little bit. I might put a dab of hot glue around the bottom here. Sorry, I'm going to put a bit of hot glue around the bottom to keep these in place. I'm sure you can get 12 in there because that's what the pattern says, but I, well I can't, so I'm going with 11 at the moment. Okay everyone, so to make this a little bit easier, I've just chamfered the ends of the petals so they slot in very loosely and then I'm adding a dab of hot glue on the bottom. What I will do in the future, instead of doing this complicated system here, which I, for me it doesn't need to be, I will not cut these slots in. I will just cut these shapes out without the slots, glue it together and then put a uh, a bevel on the wings and glue them in place because I only really want them in one place they're not it's it's not like it's got a winding mechanism where the, the wings flap yeah you need a little bit of patience with this when you're putting these things together but uh, it's all right there's a load of hot glue there this is my first attempt at this and you kind of learn what to do on the next one it's not too bad oh and the beak has to be uh, bit more care about that beak I could get that longer and a little bit more kind of robust anyway it was a good fun little project cheers everyone for watching see you soon